Good morning, dolls, and welcome to Little Gretchen's Workshop. So after all the fun I've had with making the hats and the hat boxes and thinking of things for the dress shop, it made me think about things that might go on a vanity or things that might be found in a dress shop. So I began to pull out my bins and boxes of possibilities and decided to just make a few vanity pieces. So I found a couple tiny round mirrors and I used some of the remnant wallpaper and cut out a few of the florals from the wallpaper and glued it to the back of the little mirror. And after the wallpaper dried, I trimmed it. And then I found this little piece. It looked like a little metal rod or something cut off of another piece. And I thought it would be the perfect size to be the handle for the mirror. So I used my Loctite super glue gel to glue it to the side. And then I proceeded to add some of the gold nail art studs around the unfinished portion of the mirror. Now those are the same nail art studs that I used in the suitcase and trunk videos. I will leave a link in the description below. Now the thing about a project like this, I am literally working from scraps and bits left over from other projects and broken jewelry remnants. So dolls, I can't tell you exactly where I got those little mirrors, but you could use aluminum foil glued to thick cardstock and cut it in small circles. And anything that kind of has a reflective type of look to make some tiny faux mirrors. It doesn't have to be actual mirrors to get this same effect. So what you'll be able to make will be different from what I'm doing, but I want this video to just inspire you to use what you have. I want you dolls to begin to train your eye to be able to see something beautiful in the midst of what looks like a collection of chaos. Dolls, I truly love projects like this because in the beginning, you really don't know what you're going to make. You're more or less working to see what you can come up with. Now, I had another little mirror, but I didn't have the same type of handle for this one. I found another little broken piece that looked like it might be a nice handle. I figured with the loop, I might actually be able to hang it to something or hang it on a wall or put a hook on the side of a vanity. And so I added that one the same way I added the other one. And the mirrors will be very similar, except the handles are different. And to me, that makes it really fun because it adds to the variety. So there we are, two lovely little vanity mirrors for the Rooming House Dollhouse ladies. After sorting through a few more of my little bags and bins of possibilities, I realized I had a couple jump rings and a couple bead caps for necklaces. And when I looked at them, I realized that the, the end caps were about the same size as the jump rings and when I put them together to me they kind of had the look of a really ornate or fancy powder compact. So I added super glue gel to the top of the jump ring and then placed the end cap on top. Now dolls I just happen to have silver jump rings if you had silver or bronze any color you like would work and even if it wasn't the same metallic color you wanted you could add rubbing buff or you could paint it you can do any number of things to modify the look or the color but i'm just giving you the concept of my process to making this item now while my two halves were drying i cut out some of that um, pastel paper that i used in the hats and hat boxes video i will leave a link in the description for those two videos as well and then I mixed a pretty brown color to put on top of the pastel paper to simulate the look of powder or makeup inside the compact. Now, while the makeup half was drying, I found a little piece of aluminum looking paper and I used the smallest circle on my circle template to cut out the small shape of aluminum paper. And I glued it inside the second half of the compact. Now I allowed both sides to dry before I tried to put them together. Now to attach the two little circles or halves of the compact dolls, I didn't add a hinge. It will not open and close. It will stay permanently open. I just added a little dab of the super glue gel to the edge of one of the halves and held them together until they bonded. Now dolls, I found two more little mirrors a little bit bigger than the ones I used as the hand mirrors. And I used the exact same process by adding stones and studs around the edge of the mirrors to make a perfume tray for the doll's vanity table or to set up as a display in the dress shop. So dolls, after making a perfume tray, you have to know what's next. 
I was inspired to make some more little perfume bottles. Now I do have a video out there for perfume bottles and soap. I will leave a link in the description. But before I made the perfume bottles, I was inspired to make what looked like little bottles of clear nail polish. I used a tiny clear seed bead and I used another spacer bead on the top to be the part for the brush handle. Making these tiny nail polish bottles challenged me quite a bit, but when I was done, they turned out really cute and they'll be perfect for my dollhouse ladies. Making these tiny little nail polish bottles were the most tedious part of this entire video, but they look really cute and they're gonna look really great on display. Now I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail describing how I assembled the little perfume bottles. Dolls, just use what you have. I had a little metal piece that I dropped a little crystal into the top of it to make it look like a perfume bottle that had a dauber lid instead of a spray. But here I will show you I had an end cap and a crystal bead and I put the crystal bead on top of the end cap. Now make sure you center it so it'll dry straight. Now some people actually put a piece of wire in the bead to keep it straight. I never put a wire in mine dolls. I just glued them together. Now here's my little nail art crystal that I'm going to use as my dauber and I glued it inside a metal bead and then glued the two of those on top of the crystal bead. And there you go, a lovely little perfume bottle for your vanity or dress shop. Now dolls, I must warn you, this is one of those projects that I just repeated over and over again, just trying different beads and different uh, crystals and different color beads. It can go just on and on. But after I was done and it exhausted everything that I could find that was in front of me, I had a lovely little collection of items that I'll be able to display proudly in any of my dollhouse settings. So dolls, I continued to sit there and look at all my possibilities and began to see some other things. I had another little piece of jewelry. It was sort of like a, a filigree metal disc and it had some little beads on top of it but I saw something else so I pulled off all the beads they were like wired to the little filigree piece and after I pulled off all the beads I realized I thought it would look great as a fan so I used my electrical scissors and cut the metal piece in half it wasn't exactly half because one side I allowed to be a little bigger and one smaller but the piece that was the biggest I found a little line of beads that I had glued to a wire and I decided to use that as a handle. So I added some of my super glue gel to the back to add the handle, and I allowed that to dry. So now, as while that was drying, I, I looked around on my table and I saw that little pink feather. I thought the feathers would be a nice enhancement to the little fan. So I decided to pull a few of the plumes from the feather and add it to the fan. Now, in order to add the plumes from the feather, I did use a generous amount of my fabric tack glue to the back of the fan. And I spread it in a nice thin amount and began to press the little plumes into the glue on the back of the fan. Now, dolls, this was a little tedious because the feathers wanted to pop up but you have to take your time and be very patient and allow them to dry a little bit before you try to add another one because the ones that are not stuck will begin to pull up. Now, dolls, I want you to keep in mind this is edited video. This portion is really sped up quite a bit because it was quite a tedious little process to get enough feathers on there to the fullness that I was really satisfied with. Now, after I was happy with the amount of feathers I had added, I added small little pieces of lace to the back to cover up where I added the plumes just to make it a little bit decorative on the underside and to make it look finished. And I was using those small bits of lace that I cut off during my hat box video. And if you have not seen that video, I will leave a link in the description. And after I added the little lace bit, I allowed that to dry as well. I'm really pleased with the way this little fan turned out. I really like the addition of the little feathers. I think it makes the fan look very posh and glamorous. This fan definitely looks like something that you would find in a dress shop or a boutique. Now here I'm just trimming it down a little bit to bring it more into scale. Now I did decide to swap out that little amber stone. I took that out and found the iridescent stone which I thought looked a little bit better with the pink feathers and then the purple and blue lace on the other side. Yeah I like the iridescent stone a lot better. 
So I realized at the end that I hadn't made a powder puff for my compacts. And so I cut a little piece of quilt batting using the same size circle template that I used for the other portion of the compact and placed it on the inside. I also added a small bead to the back of the compact. So dolls, I want to encourage you to see what you can make out of your scraps, remnants, and box of possibilities. Take some time to play, create, imagine, and come up with some lovely things for your dollhouse or miniature scene. So dolls, if you've enjoyed this video today, definitely let me know in the comments. Also like, share, and subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next episode of Little Gretchen's Workshop. Bye-bye now, dolls.